Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Uh, thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, uh, thanks uh, for watching, and uh, I hope you find the video useful and helpful in your designing process. Uh, and if you find the video useful and helpful, please uh, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Help me out. And then uh, if you're a returning viewer or a subscriber, thanks very much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. Love the comments. And hello to Italy there. Uh, so uh, today what we're going to talk about is degrees and curves with extra stuff. Uh, I made a video a while back uh, on this, but I think this will explain it a little bit more in detail. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. And right now I have several uh, lines out there. Uh, degree 5, 3, 1, right here. Those, those lines and the degrees that they're in. And then I have 3 up here. Uh, this one is a degree 1, I believe. This one's a 3 and that one is a 5. And how do I know? Because I can t uh, click on it and type in what and go to my uh, object description and it'll tell me well it's a line curve so it's a degree one uh, and close it and then if I click on it I can type in what again uh, I get a valid curve this one is a NURBS curve degree three right here degree three and it's a NURBS and this uh, this one here is uh, degree five and a NURBS curve okay so this is a poly curve and, and this is a nerves curve. It's really not a poly curve, it's a nerves curve because it's only one line. But uh, let's turn on the points. Okay, so points on. Uh, as you can see, uh, the points are different, right? And they're all uh, spaced out differently. Here we don't really have any that we can manipulate. But I wanted to show you something real quick because I did this to these curves here. And I don't want you to think that they're going to they're gonna come out like this uh, when you do them. So I'm going to show you how I made the points on these uh, so that they all line up. Uh, so uh, first you can go to your transform menu. Uh, you can go to align and then you can select the curves that you want to align hit enter come down here and you have lots of options you can align them you can align them uh, to the bottom uh, where they're all on top of each other uh, horizontal left right uh, all different options but the one we're going to take is the two plane and we're just going to draw uh, a line right through here and now those points are lined up and we'll select this one and do the same thing. Uh, actually, we can just, well, those two we'll leave alone, actually. Uh, and then these two here, these two here we'll take. I'll right-click on it, bring back the command, go to plane, and we'll just put them right here. It, it, it's a lot easier than trying to uh, click them and then move them uh, together trying to you know one at a time or something like this so you can just align them like that okay so that's what I did to these curves here so if I get rid of these uh, and then I turn on uh, click my yellow select all my yellow and I turn on my points you can see I, I line them all up okay but they are uh, different degrees with di uh, but the same amount of points on them alright so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just select this center row here and we'll just drag it up a little bit okay uh, so right away you can see a difference right I'm gonna turn off those points real quick uh, and then I'll zoom into my and we'll turn it to here so we can really see it uh, you can see the difference right here the degree 5 curve it comes out it's a very very smooth sur uh, curve uh, the degree three is pretty smooth, but uh, it's it's a, l a little more drastic, right? And then the degree one is basically to a point. And if you click on this one here and type in what, uh, it'll tell you uh, it's a polyline. So it has uh, one, two, three. It's many different points on it, right? So uh, right here, these points will make something called a kink in a polyline uh, or poly surface. These are what make kinks. Uh, so you, we'll get into that later. Uh, but these would be nerves curves right here, all right? And then these are polylines, and then two more nerves curves, all right? Uh, and then you can see 
let's turn on our points again and hit enter <clears throat> so we have all this right uh, so I'm going to go to curves first I'll give me uh, some surface area there I'm gonna go to the curves menu I'm gonna go down to from object and I'm going to select intersection I'm just gonna select all this here and hit enter and then I'm going to hide my uh, uh, yellow so we can kind of see what's going on what's going on here oh if, did I forget to hit enter maybe okay so let's select these curves here maybe if I just hide the curves yeah there we go we can they turn them to yellow you can see that the polylines remain totally on the surface and that 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 the uh, degree three and five curves uh, really kind of go to just the point right so if I put those back on and we'll zoom in here we'll go ahead and turn those points back on uh, the degree uh, five curve will actually the points next to it right let's look at the degree one it will not affect the point next to it it keeps it solid right there right the degree three curve will uh, move to the not the, the second point and even maybe the third depending on how much you move it and it'll affect it slightly and then the degree five curve it, it'll affect the points more drastically so that's that's the biggest difference and as you can tell there's there's a major uh, difference in the three curves right so let's uh, go ahead and back out of that I'll close those points off I'll just go back get rid of those lines there alright so we have uh, the curves back out there now I'm just going to select all the curves and I'm going to type in rebuild all of them okay and then I'll change them to a degree three and then I'll put uh, I can use my mouse to scroll through points I'll take it up to uh, 11 points all right and you can see them changing right now there's a big difference and right here you can see the little red dots on each of the lines that's how much difference there will be uh, between the, the 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 lines when they're altered so if I take it up drastically uh, you can see that that drops down uh, or if I take it less uh, it's more pronounced right so we'll take it to uh, around 11 here and then we'll just go ahead and hit OK all right so now we have these curves out here so let's uh, do a little lofting here real quick and you can see those uh, degree ones are really being affected uh, so we'll do a surface we'll do you can do loft or curved uh, uh, what is it is it curved edge? Yeah, curved edge. Uh, we'll do loft on them. Two, enter, enter. One, two, enter, enter. One, two, enter, enter. One, two, enter, enter. One, two, enter, enter. Okay. So right now we have uh, all kinds of different surfaces and actually let's take all that and we'll change it to a different layer here. Uh, so we have all this out here, right? So uh, if we type in what at this point, uh, what, W-H-A-T, W-H-A-T, uh, we can tell that it's a NURB surface so uh, all those are NURB surfaces and if we select on the one that was a, a poly surface and type in uh, what uh, you can you can see it's changed to a degree three NURB surface okay so we have all these surfaces right so let's go ahead and take two of them and try and join it together okay so we have that now let's click on it what W H A T, jeez, uh, and now it's a poly surface, right? Which a poly surface, uh, there's a lot we can't do work with, right? Uh, so let's do it again, uh, just to make sure. Uh, right-click on it. 
you know, two surfaces, right? So uh, we don't want that, right? We want to try and get a, a poly surface. So now they're back to individual. Real easy way to do it is to go to your surface menu down to your edit tools and then click on merge. And then we're going to merge this surface with this surface, right? So now we have one surface, but if we type in what at this point, now it's a NURB surface, it's not a poly surface anymore. So we have more uh, tools that we can use. So let's go ahead and just join all those together. So I'm going to merge the rest of these uh, and right click and right click and you can see it's kind of changing this uh, surface uh, to a more soft surface right uh, so if I click on the whole thing at this point and type in what <laughs> oh, I want to get that A in there before that H for some reason uh, it's a NURB surface and what can we do with NURB surfaces we can turn on points points on and we are able to manipulate those points, right? So let's go back to all our viewports. And as you can tell, they're kind of uh, all over the place, right? But uh, if we change the point where they're at, it's going to change the surface, of course. But we can. Uh, so let's just select this row right here. Uh, we don't want those. We just want this row. So you have to be careful when you're picking the points and let's deselect hold down control and see about deselecting those okay so now if I go to the align tool and we do align from a plane and I just draw a line straight across there it moves all those points into one line right so let's go back and let's select these points and let's recall that command and align these here there we go so now we have a little bit uh, a better surface or better control but of course it, it did uh, change our and we want to select these down here so let's go in here and hold down shift and grab those in there and let's do another align plane and let's just make those right across here and then we'll grab all these here yeah and we'll right click to plane go in here hold down shift click and then drag claw so we have this now and as you can see it, it changed our surface right okay but there's more we can do all right, let's see here. Uh, first, let's go to uh, set points, okay? So first, let's select uh, a row of points. Let's go to our top view here. Let's go ahead and take this, no, the row that we just aligned and the, the row that we aligned over on this side, okay? And now let's go and click on set points okay uh, now you can set in the X the Y or the Z we're just going to do the Z and I'm going to go to all my viewports so you can kind of see keep an eye on that right viewport I think uh, now I'm going to go ahead and hit OK so it's going to take all those points that we just selected and set them to the Z axis so now all of them are set exactly the same right yeah enter okay so they all drop down to the Z axis so let's take that center row here and let's recall that command and let's set that to uh, Z, Z as well and now I have control over it so we can move it up and down so let's kind of eh, something like that so, but you can see they're all set across to the Z axis and let's let's go ahead and select those again those ones right here 
and let's bring back the command and let's go to all viewports and hit OK and now I have access over this side here and we'll do that one more time for this access here and here and we'll kind of we can manipulate it however we want right so that's one way to manipulate the surface to do some surface modeling and you can do more in there you could also just pick one point but let's uh, keep moving forward okay so let's uh, type in options in the command line and we'll hit enter and uh, if you go to the op Rhino options and go down to uh, modeling aids, you have something called nudge, right? So usually this is up. So just click on it and bring it down and then nudge. And then right here, uh, the nudge key is alt arrow key, right? So you can go do the arrow up, down, left, right, uh, or back. Uh, and then it's to the Z plane. This is, uh, you can input how much you want it to move here, but we're going to leave them at the defaults for right now. And we'll hit uh, OK. So uh, let's click on a couple of points. Let's take this one, uh, this one, and this one, right? So I know, I know my uh, nudge keys are, uh, if I hold down Alt and I press an arrow key, I'm able kind of keep an eye on them uh, I can move them kind of s just very small directions right so I, I'm able to manipulate those curves on the surface and it, as you can tell it distorts the surface as I use them okay I can also uh, hold down control and alt and as you can tell it moves them even uh, smaller increment increments using the arrow key and holding down alt and uh, control and I can also uh, hold down uh, alt and shift and now it, it it's moving them more drastically right yeah alt shift yeah and arrows it's moving much more drastically okay so you can always manipulate it like that and then also of course you can just click the gumball and be able to manipulate your surface as well something like this so there, there's lots of ways to be able to manipulate a, a NURBS uh, surface uh, using uh, the commands and, and make different kinds of shapes and designs uh, but I hope that helps it's uh, I'll turn off those points here real quick, maybe. Alt, and then I'll select my surface, and I'll just delete it. Uh, but really, it gives you a good idea of uh, how to be able, and what the degrees, and how the influence it has on the points next to it, and what kind of uh, uh, ability you have to manipulate it. So degree five is much more smoother, degree smooth but less more constraints and then degree one is uh, pretty much only the point you're moving uh, it will not affect the ones next to it uh, so I hope this gets a better understanding of uh, degrees and why we rebuild curves and nerve surfaces versus poly surfaces and how to manipulate the the nerve surfaces a little bit and there's a lot more on uh, manipulating the surfaces which we'll get into uh, at a later date uh, so I hope you uh, liked the video and found it useful uh, and if you did please if you're not subscribed please uh, hit that subscribe button I'd really appreciate it and uh, thanks for watching as always and I uh, love the comments thank you so much uh, good designing